Hi everyone, Scott Smith, Rusnak BMW. I am back, finally. Hey, but I definitely wanted to show you this. Check this out. Frozen Silver Metallic Brand New M3. It's our first one with this paint, so definitely didn't want to let this pass us by. I know we've had some activity on it since it's been in. I'm just lucky that I got back and, it's, uh, and it was still here. So, apologize for the wind, guys. Check out the front. We got the full LEDs on here. You can see the custom front lower bumper, characteristic with any of the M cars. They're going to give it that exclusive look. And you've got the M compound brakes, performance M brakes here on the uh, M3. 15 inch rotors, four piston up front. This one's been upgraded with a 19 inch black M wheel. But check out that paint job. Let's go on to the back of the car. Have Trish give us a little red rev time in this car. Here we go. <laughs> Not bad at all. Not bad at all. I think she's been practicing. Hey Trish. Hello. <laughs> How's it going? Good. How's everyone doing? Awesome. Okay, so let's jump in the back real quick. Let's show them the space. Just to let you guys know, a lot of you already know already, Trish is 5'9". So we're going to have her jump in the back here on this M3, just so you guys can see the leg room. So for four adults, it's pretty easy. And even you do have seat belts for five. Also in the back seat, let's see, what do we got back there, Trish? You have your ventilation, you have a power source, and this particular model has the seat warmers in the back. Oh, nice. And then the back of the seats, they're a hard material, aren't they? Yeah. So that way it's a little bit more of a race race type design, guys. Also, this one's been upgraded with the uh, Harman Kardon sound system. And you can see the contrast stitching. What else do we have here, Trish? Um, and we have our sunshades. There we go, guys. They're manual there. And then we also have them here. So both windows on the rear door. Um, the rear one is electronic, is that right? Yes, there's one in the very back. And that is controlled from the driver's side. Yeah, so the driver's side door, guys, we can do that. Come on and jump out, Trish. Let's go ahead and show them the trunk. There we go, guys. It does have the 60-40 split seat. That's going to be standard. Also, these do come with Michelin non-run flat performance tires. So you can see here you got the gel pack if you do get a flat. Little extra storage back here. There's your cargo net for strapping stuff down here if you need to when you're flying through the canyons and you got a case of wine in the back. But uh, I'd probably suggest not going through the canyons. Also, it is hands free trunk opening with this, so you can kick it open, um, but it will not kick close closed um, because it's not a power trunk lid like some of our other models. This is where you would release the rear seats. So that way you can lock them in and do a valet mode on the trunk. Look at the detail of that rear bumper. We got some clouds coming, so I hope it still looks good on the video, guys. The uh, frozen silver. I'm gonna go over and do the sticker right now. So let's do that right now. Let's see if I can get this. Galaxy Note 4 to focus for us a little bit there guys So you can kind of see all the different packages. This one is pretty loaded You can stop it at any time if you want to study everything on this car all the standard equipment This one's pretty loaded not missing much As you can see when we finally get to the bottom of the list 85 grand US dollars So you can see your fuel economy there and your final assembly stuff right there for you, okay? And also, show you that carbon fiber roof. Hey Trish, can you pop the trunk, uh, the hood for me? Thanks. We've also got the shadow line exterior on these guys, what I consider to call the black chrome. Nice and aggressive. Let's go underneath here. There you go, there's your, whoa, let's get that focus going. There you go, there's that uh, carbon fiber, the strut brace there. Very cool signature for the M series, M3. 
there's your three liter engine. Now some of the stuff I found out about the engine, doing a little studying guys, it's the S55 engine. It has two mono scroll turbos and they're electronically controlled wastegates. Some of the advantages to that is you've got a high adjustment speed being electronically controlled, precise boost pressure control, and then enhanced uh, fuel economy. So just some of the benefits of that electronic uh, wastegates. And it's a three liter engine, 425 horsepower. And you got that maxed out at 5,500 RPMs. And then you've got a 406 in torque, starts out at 1,850 RPMs. Car weighs just under 3,600 pounds. Zero to 60 through BMW is 3.9, but one of the major car magazines got it to 3.8. Also the final drive on the rear axle uh, is what, 3.46. Also wanted to show you here, here's one of your side cameras for top view. They're under both of the mirrors on each side. Also, one thing I've always mentioned too a lot is the signature mirrors they put on the M's. So just an awesome design. Also, this is your reflector here. Oh, one thing about the paint. You can see the big sticker they put on here, guys. <laughs> Do not polish, okay? So basically, owner has to take the, these stickers off the window. I mean, we wanna make sure that the next owner definitely knows about the paint, so. All right, let's get inside. Hey, Trish. <laughs> Right. Need a little bit of air by that humidity out there. All right, so what do we want to talk about in here? A little bit of the iDrive system. How about if we go in reverse a little bit, Trish, and then we kind of maybe point the car that way over there. Okay. That way we get the less of the all the sun coming in the windshield. All right. Yeah, let's do that too. Over to the left and up, and that will throw you into reverse. You're gonna take off your emergency brake. Your lovely backup camera, there parking you go. aid lines, sensors, sensors front and back. Yeah, if you want to go straight to the left a little bit. There we go. Cool. Good. And you can see as you get close to something there too. So you get in tight. That's perfect okay. right there. And then we'll just back out in a minute. But there's your sensors, guys. You want to show them those front cameras, the front side? All so right. just in case, we'll show them some of the buttons down here. So this is your frontal camera button. So if you press that, you'll see your right and left view. So you can see that brick wall there, as well as the car to the left of us. And this will show you where the cameras are actually located on the cars, the front side bumpers, or in the side of the front bumper. <laughs> <laughs> goes back to the rear. You do have your actual bumper there at the bottom. Um, the parking aid lines, the green is actually where your vehicle would go if we were to reverse right now. And you can fully line up the green with the red by turning the wheel to share a maximum turn radius in reverse. So, very okay. good feature. And some of the other buttons there that you have. This is your traction control here. It's always on. Um, that will turn the traction off. Uh, this one here is your engine performance mode. This one is going to change your suspension, and this one will adjust the performance of the steering wheel field. Okay. Yeah. And then if you wanted to turn on your sensors, if you weren't in reverse, you could push this button and it would turn on your front and rear sensors. Yes. Say you're pulling into the garage and you want to pull up that sensor for you, you'll see an aerial view with the press of that button, um, and then your sensors uh, forward and back. There you go. Yeah. And then if you wanted to go to the rear camera, you could push down on the big controller here, and then that would jump right back to the rear camera. Now that automatically comes on when you go into reverse, but you can switch back and forth to the, the uh, overhead view. And then now here you do have settings for the transmission too, guys, so you can, three levels of performance there. Um, one thing, why don't we show them the M1 and M2. So you can see the two buttons there. And go ahead, Trish, I'll let you jump into the iDrive. Okay, so your M1 and your M2 settings, those are just two options that you have for creating a profile for a specific drive that you wanna do. So say you wanna set your M1 to be, you know, the very fast, sporty drive. Um, you're gonna go into settings and you're gonna go all the way up to M1. And this is where you're gonna go configure each of these individual options here. 
So once you have that all configured, you just press M1 on your steering wheel and it will adjust to everything that you've chosen for that particular um, option. Uh, same thing with M2. So maybe you want M2 to be your more comfort, more efficient of a field drive. Um, so yeah, a lot of people will do one as their their sporty drive and then you know anything else for the second. Yeah, like if you're coming into the canyons, someone pulls up next to you, gives you a little attitude. Hey, just push <laughs> one button and then just launch. Yep. Okay. Um, also, let's do this. The memory buttons here, what can be set to that? All right, so this is something that a lot of current BMW owners do not know. Um, and so we've been trying to really express this to all new owners as well as previous owners. You have shortcut keys here. Um, we also call them hot keys, but as you slide your finger over them, you can see what's saved under each one. And what's really great about this feature is that anything that you can highlight in red on your iDrive, so anything that's highlighted in red, you can save as a shortcut key. So phone numbers, addresses, and radio stations. So it's really convenient. If you always call someone, you can save their number as a hot key, and just with the touch of a button, you can go ahead and give them a buzz. So instead of doing the voice command, it'd be just a quick way to jump in, push the button and call that client or go directly to that address. Correct. And a lot of people will save their home address as a hotkey as well. Um, if you travel often, it's just one of a touch of a button and you are navigating home. And then let's go ahead and look at the navigation there. Because the map here I know is a lot more, or, or, or better resolution than what we've had in the past. So as you can see guys, we have Google Imaging at one mile or up. Can you go up to 10 miles for us? Because that'll take, that'll actually show you um, the local temperature. So you can see there's LA, there's Oxnard I think. So even at 10 miles you've got that. And then you have a 20 gig hard drive included with the iDrive system, so you can download music. Um, we do have all the state-of-the-art Bluetooth streaming and all that nice stuff included with the um, iDrive system when it has the navigation. Yeah. Trying to think of anything else. I know we've got the heads-up display, which I guess I think you guys can see it flickering out there. <laughs> now what else can we have show up there Trish? So the heads up display will show you the posted speed limit in the area that you're driving through. Um, it will also show you the speed that you are currently traveling at. Um, it will show you directions when using your navigation. It will show you your radio stations as well as contacts in your smartphone. Yeah, I saw also that if you hit the phone button, it would show your previous uh, phone numbers or yes. history. Is that right? So then you could redial just from pushing the button. Yep, recent phone calls. Oh, great. And also you can see right behind Trish there, guys, we have the signature M, which actually lights up and you can see it at night. So it's a nice signature move when you're coming up to the car and the seats are glowing. Great. I think let's go ahead and after the gentleman behind us pulls that car out. Why don't we back up a little bit, Trish? Let's do that. So you guys can see the carbon fiber here on the interior part of the car. It just looks amazing. High polish. And we've got, we'll just pull back so I can do some pictures on the outside or do some angles from the outside. Also, you can see the leather, leather dash here. Great sewing. Also, the anthracite headliner, so it's all blacked out. Yeah, it's great. We can just pull right up over there. And you can see the contrast stitching there on the dash, cover of the dash. All right. I think still got to be in sport mode, huh? This one? Right here? Yeah, that's perfect. Cool. Let's jump out. Cool. Thanks, Trish. Bye, guys. See ya. All right, guys. Let's get a couple outside angles here for you. Hey, thanks for watching. Definitely share this with your other media sources. If you got any questions, let me know. At the time of filming, this car is for sale. And I think this is going to be one of our last 2015s. So, hey, thanks for watching and have a good one.